So Kelvin Headwaters are semester-long programs that are run by Centennial Collegiate in Guelph and they're open to students from all Guelph high schools to apply. Um, so students are with us all semester either in grade 10 for four credits or in grade 12 for four credits um, and classes take place off-site at the Unitarian Congregation. Both programs start with a wilderness trip, either a canoe trip in the fall or a traditional warm winter snowshoe camping trip in Algonquin Park in the winter semester. And the function of those trips is to start the class of bonding together and really develop the class as a team and have students get to know each other in um, a wilderness environment. Students also develop skills that might be new to them and put them outside of their comfort zone. A program like CalPort, like Headwaters, takes a group of kids and puts them in an environment that's not their school environment. And so for a semester, they have to figure out how to work together. They're very similar to a working environment. Journaling is a big part of both programs. We really want to encourage students to reflect on their learning, make it their own, and figure out how to transfer it to their lives and make it relevant to what they're doing. Like regular school system, I sort of felt stuck sometimes. Like I could get the good marks, I could do what I need to get there, but I wasn't really motivating myself or I wasn't doing it with intention. But once I got into kelp, um, you are really put into a community where you have to reflect on yourself, you have to journal, and you have to really try to understand why you're doing what you're doing. They get your kid and they they know their strengths, their weaknesses, and you have, they help them through it. Definitely as a kelp student uh, in winter 2014, one of the main aspects that I really took from it was the ability and use of leadership. And now, especially in a program driven by leadership, as a nurse, you need to be able to inspire other people. You need to be able to lead people. That's the new generation of nursing that we're trying to go for in Canada now. And also, on the field, as a rugby player, this first year, you want to demand respect in a position and also being able to guide people around the field. And Kelp taught me that. So both programs involve a component where students are taking responsibility for teaching younger kids. So in grade 10 kelp, that's the grade 5 EcoStars program, and in grade 12 Headwaters, uh, we have a grade 3 Rubber Boots program. Those teaching skills, but they're also modeling that excitement about nature and seeing themselves as people who care about nature in the eyes of younger, younger kids. I really developed different leadership skills that have helped me today. And I didn't realize how important that would be, especially for my profession, until I started um, studying architecture. Kelp has really helped me to develop my skills um, in terms of like talking to people as peers and talking to them um, just on, on the same level instead of feeling intimidated or, or anything like that. So in grade 10 Kelp, we really try and focus on the skills needed to do projects in small groups, uh, to communicate really well, to problem solve, to resolve conflicts, and to work as a team. And in the grade 12 Headwaters program, we really do a lot of project-based learning. So again, students have to uh, figure out more independently how to move through a project from the planning stages to the reflection stages. Really, these programs are about differentiated learning and differentiated instruction. We find that students are really able to take what they've learned in these programs, apply it to their own lives, and, and take it forward, and that, that really transforms them as people. They learn to think for themselves, they learn to adapt, they learn to transfer skills to new situations, um, and they learn to be flexible and adaptable while they're doing that. So I think that's huge. Um, I'd like to transfer that to regular school a little bit more. I think a very important skill that I learned at, um, in Kelp and especially in Headwaters was how to use critical thinking to analyze problems from different perspectives. Um, and I think that comes into play a lot in my university um, in my university learning because you're dealing with a lot of different problems there and you need to be able to find different perspectives to tackle them. So in both programs we really try and foster a connection to community and really try and use community resources and uh, resource people. So in grade 12 we've just finished um, inviting people into the class who are involved in green industry and uh, green community groups and really trying to get at what motivates them and how they got involved in their businesses or their, or their groups. We were the class that went to city council and presented our uh, our transition Guelph project to a city council. All of a sudden we were these this high school group that were so close, you know, 
we had such a deep connection with each other and then that's how we were able to brainstorm some of the ideas we had for that transition Guelph project and that's how we were able to uh, speak to the council and say this is what we want to see done we're passionate about this this and this is where we think the, the city could go with this. I can't really remember what life was like before I did kelp and I can't imagine what my life would be like now if I hadn't have done the kelp and the kelp co-op. Um, for me I really developed as a as an individual but also as a leader and those kind of went hand in hand. It helps me to succeed in those courses knowing that there are things out there that you can really dig your teeth into and love what you're learning. That was yeah, definitely a big part of, of what I take away. To sign up for the Semester of a Lifetime or to contact us for further information, please visit our website.